Here are some things you may want to avoid if you are currently receiving SSDI or SSI benefits. My name is Caitlin Wildoner, and I'm an attorney who helps disabled clients obtain their disability benefits as quickly as possible so they can focus on getting better. In this video, we will discuss some things that you may want to consider avoiding if you are currently receiving Social Security disability benefits. If you are receiving Social Security Disability Insurance, SSDI, or Supplemental Security Income, SSI benefits, it's important to be aware of certain factors that may affect your eligibility or benefit amounts. Number one, engaging in substantial gainful activity. If you are truly disabled and unable to work, you will want to avoid earning income that exceeds the substantial gainful activity amount set by the Social Security Administration. This amount changes from year to year, and it is important to pay attention to that. Additionally, if you're earning SSI or if you're receiving SSI benefits, you will want to be careful about any earnings at all, as certain earnings can impact the actual benefit amount that you receive from SSI. Number two, failing to report changes. You want to promptly report any changes in your income, employment status, living situation, marital status, or other relevant factors to the Social Security Administration. Failure to report these changes accurately and in a timely manner can result in the overpayment or total loss of benefits. Number three, exceeding resource limits. SSI has limits on the amount of assets or resources that you are allowed to have while receiving benefits. You'll want to avoid accumulating resources that exceed the limits set by the Social Security Administration, such as cash, savings, investments, or real estate. If you find that you are exceeding that threshold, you do want to let the Social Security Administration know about that as they may need to pause your SSI benefits or completely terminate them depending on where your income and assets are. Inaccurate or incomplete medical documentation. Ensure that you provide the Social Security Administration with complete and accurate medical documentation that supports your ongoing disability. Failure to provide sufficient evidence of your disability can result in the denial or termination of benefits. Engaging in fraudulent activities. You, of course, want to avoid engaging in any fraudulent activities, such as providing false information, misrepresenting your disability, or concealing any income or assets. These actions can lead to severe penalties and criminal charges. You also want to avoid not following prescribed treatments. If you are receiving disability benefits, it's important to continue to follow the treatment plans that are prescribed by your healthcare providers. Failure to comply with recommended treatments without valid reasons for that non-compliance can sometimes lead to the suspension or termination of benefits. You want to avoid overlooking work incentives and programs. If you do want to return to work or engage in work-related activities while receiving SSDI or SSI benefits, Explore the various work incentives and programs that are offered directly by the Social Security Administration, such as the Ticket to Work program. Ignoring these opportunities may result in a loss of benefits without maximizing your potential for self-sufficiency. Thanks so much for watching. If you're disabled and unable to work, click the scheduling link below or give us a call directly for a free consultation where we discuss your case and see what I can do to help you.